Hello everybody, welcome to another Valheim video. Today we're going to be learning how you can use cronjob to schedule a routine of commands with expand world prefabs. Cronjob allows us to schedule commands, but also cast them when we see fit. However, because of the way cronjob currently works, there's some limitations with these commands. But by using expand world prefabs to run the commands, we remove all of these limitations. This means that you can pretty much combine expand world prefabs and cronjob to accomplish anything you can imagine. In our case, we'll be focusing on two little tiny scripts. There's the one on the left, which is the expand world prefab script, and then the one on the right, which is the cronjob command for the join, which is when the player first logs into the server. You're going to be learning how there's a key that you can set and then Cron can react and do something. So let's say that I set this key, trigger day and year. I'm going to set it with dev commands and then wait. And then look, the server after a couple seconds says it is day 357 of the year 32. So let's set the key again. And then boom, the server reacts by saying it is this. So you could just use a command like I just did, right? that runs it. Or you could make it happen in a certain situation. In our case, we can see that we use the cron join section to show the date when the player logs in. So now, as you can see, I've logged in, and then the server says, welcome to the path of magic, and then says the day. And that's where this expand world prefab script comes in here. What I want you to focus on is this part here. The first line says what it's going to do. And it's saying when the global key trigger day and year gets set, then run this command. Remove key, trigger day of year, and also make it happen, which does the stuff we want. So you can use expand world prefabs to react to these keys being set and then do things in response to it. And if you haven't realized yet, this is very powerful stuff. In a vanilla Valheim installation, the bosses die, and then that sets a key, which changes the raids that show up. So let's go from like a beginning to end logical flow of what happens here. At first, nothing is happening because there's no player online, but then a player logs in and the server is like, all right, there's a person here. And it then shows the welcome command. And that is where this logic is going into play. This part here, type global key, and then the name of the key you want to act as the trigger goes into effect. You need to have this remove false part for it to function properly. This will produce a key that will react every time it's set even if you never remove it. So this is the real framework here. After that, it's going to poke the nearest black marble prefab. Uh, in my case, I just dug a hole at the center of the world and put an invincible one in the ground. That way I have something to refer to that I know is always there just in case. So when the key is set, it'll remove the key and then poke the nearest black marble piece that matches this. So the nearest black marble one by one. Type spawn and then boom. And then look at that. This is the piece we're talking about. The key will be set and then it will basically target or poke this piece, only doing it once, only finding one of them within anywhere in the world. And then it's going to use the poke called New Year 1 on a delay of one second later. The rest of that poke is right above it. You can see the receiving prefab, which has to be the same or a component of this one. And then it has the name of the poke. See, you have type poke and then New Year, which always has to match this parameter down here. So if we want to make this more logical, we can actually look at it this way, because then it's set the poke happen, and then this is what the poke does. It makes the command, it is day of the year, show up. But this portion here could be changed to whatever you want 
there's all sorts of commands that you could use in this situation. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you want to get any of these scripts, then just look below. They're really short and simple, so I can have everything available in the description of the video. You'll also find links there to get your own dedicated Valheim server with Bepinex pre-installed from Zap Hosting. This is a server host I've been using for a while, and I'm happy to recommend them to you. Alternatively, you could like this video or any other video about Valheim, and then YouTube will start dishing out the Valheim videos. Thanks for watching, and if there's anything you want to learn about, just comment below. I like to make these kind of tutorials, and if there's something simple, I can make it quickly. Bye-bye.